welcome welcome to science health and healing encyclopedia of children's health core and ali academy i'm dr majid ali the subject of this video is peroxide soaks simplified i'm going to read you two brief letters that two viewers of this encyclopedia sent me first this is they are responding to my earlier hydrogen peroxide foot soaks videos quote this is the best thing ever it's simple easy to do and it feels good and quote second this is regular hydrogen peroxide that you buy in the store right question mark and quotation yes it is the 3% hydrogen peroxide foot soaks that you, you buy from drug stores that's what i'm referring to for foot soaks or hydrogen peroxide packs on any part of the body please watch one segment peroxide for surgical wound healing quite a dramatic example that i described Now, if you're going to take oral hydrogen peroxide, which I really don't recommend on a long-term use because I've seen more problems than good results, especially if you take 10, 15, 20, 30 drops that some people recommend, that's 12.5 percent. That's food-grade hydrogen peroxide. That's far more expensive. So, what I'm talking about for foot soaks is the ordinary 3 percent hydrogen peroxide solution in the United States. It usually runs about dollar and a 45 cents or so. Now the the first uh, uh, comment. This is the best thing ever. Simply, simple, easy to do, and it feels good. Please look at peroxide oxygen therapy channel on this encyclopedia. There is so much information there. Keep it simple. I personally use it with galoshes, rubber shoes. So I put the water up to the level of ankle. I put about an ounce of hydrogen peroxide. The water is seasonably comfortable, and I put half a teaspoon of Epsom salt. Now you can add more hydrogen peroxide. You can add more foot soak. You know when you have asked, when you have questions about hydrogen peroxide, people ask me a lot of questions. Turn the questions. So for example, if you want to, do, your question is how much hydrogen peroxide? Turn that question and say, "I wonder what would happen if I decrease the hydrogen peroxide." Now, if you do that, you're conducting an experiment. You are a scientist. Or you can have a question. I wonder I should increase this hydrogen peroxide. Well, follow Dr. Ali's low slow principle, which means start low, build slow. So, if I ask you to put just one ounce of hydrogen peroxide. in a rubber shoe water up to the level of the ankle when you put your feet into these rubber shoes the water will rise of course two or three or four inches above the level of ankles and then if you have to go to the bathroom you just slap it on it feels like you're walking in rain the way you used to feel when you were a child same thing if you want to go to the kitchen for a drink of water or the bathroom but every time you have a question about peroxide turn the question and say i wonder if i increase the volume if i decrease the volume if i increase salt if i decrease salt if i make the temperature a little bit warmer if i make the temperature a little bit um, lower if i did it for 4 minutes extra i recommend 10 minutes what would happen if i did it for 20 minutes but be a scientist conduct an experiment find it for yourself and then send me an email so i can share your the results of your experiment the pursuit of yourself as a scientist who is a scientist a scientist is a person who observes natural phenomenon without any pre conceived ideas or ideologies he is truthful to what is to be observed he doesn't have a prior belief system Please forward this YouTube segment to your contacts. Join our mission, authentic information for people all over the world. Information that is free of cost, 
free of corporate deceptions and free of ideological distortions. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much.